Hi, Karen. This is uh, Home Designer 9. I assume this is kind of what you have. I booted into a Windows XP. I have Windows XP and Windows 7 on my computer. Anyway, to get this set up and running in, in XP, and I assume you have XP, uh, and now especially this older version, version 9, you're going to have to open printers and faxes. I've already done that. But it's over here under, you know, printers and faxes. And uh, <clears throat> Home Designer 9, the largest size piece of paper it'll print to is legal. So you open the printing preferences for something that'll print to that size. I've got another printer that prints legal, but uh, I'm just going to use this PDF printer for that. And you set it up to, I, I commonly use landscape, you know, portrait, landscape. <clears throat> And then I set the paper size here. When I set it to A3, uh, you know, the software rejected that. You got, I got an error message, so I'm not going to go there. I'm just going to set it to what size paper that uh, Home Designer 9 actually natively prints to. So I've set the printer up for landscape and uh, legal, 8.5 by 14, and Windows. And then you uh, open Home Designer 9 and go to File, Print, Page Setup. I didn't get an I didn't get a uh, error message this time. Yeah, I could go here over here and set it to A3, but then I get this. Selected page is not supported, you know. So don't go there. It doesn't do that. <clears throat> You'll have to upgrade to uh, at least Architectural or Suite. I think uh, 2014 uh, Suite Architectural and Pro. Also uh, support tabloid or 11 by 17 or A3, whatever you want to call it. But we're just going to go with what this, what your software will do, and that's legal. So I went to page setup, file page setup, print page setup, and just set that up so that it agrees with how I set my print drivers in, in Windows XP. Here's a little printer thing you can do it from uh, your software. It's the same thing. Set to legal, and you want all those orientations set the same. <clears throat> now I don't have a model here, so I'm going to put something. Draw some. I'm just going to draw a box, so we have something to. The software draws at a scale of one foot equals one foot, and. Uh, the uh, soft, when you print a paper or print a PDF, and that, that one foot equals one foot has to be scaled down to fit on a piece of paper. That eventually a PDF is designed to be printed to paper on it with ink and so forth. So let's go over here to print. Okay. Uh, have I forgotten how to do this? Let's, yeah, print preview. That's right. All right. Now, at basically... What I just did, I, I clicked on Print Preview. Now, let's go to a Dimension Tools. And uh, you'll see that measures uh, 34 feet by uh, 56 feet. But this is in the program scale of one foot equals one foot. At why this little white sheet of virtual paper is the size that it is, I want you to understand this. You go over here to File, <coughs> excuse me, Page Setup, and it's, it's at a quarter inch scale. So the, the box that I drew at quarter inch scale is too big for the paper. So I'm going to change the scale to half that size. Click OK. See, now the, now the same box that's, uh, let, me, let me auto dimension the thing. Uh, Make these dimensions larger so you can read them. I'm shift selecting them. I don't know if okay, shift selecting doesn't work in Home Designer now. Never mind. I'm gonna make these dimensions a little bit larger. Make that uh, 30 inch, 30 inch tall. I didn't. <laughs> That's interesting. Didn't change. Oh, the arrows, the arrow size is changing. I see. I want the I want the text larger. Okay. I guess in Home Designer 9 you can't do that. Well, all right. 
I don't need larger arrows. Anyway, you get the idea. <clears throat> now that's, so I changed that by going to File, Print, and uh, let's see, uh, I think it was, yeah, Page Setup, and it changed the scale. That's one way. Another way, I can put it back to quarter inch scale in uh, Page Setup. Click OK, and you'll see the box now is now bigger than the paper. You can go over to Edit, let's see, no, File, Print. I guess I turned print, print preview, preview off. Let me turn it back on. Print, print view, view. All right. And then there's print, center, center sheet, which, you know, it's still the sheet's too, too small for quarter inch scale. And I think there's one more command over here. File, print, uh, scale to fit. Now this will just generically fit the, what I, fit my window onto the sheet of paper. Irregardless of scale, you, you lose your scaling ability when you do that, but everything, in the window fits to the sheet. Now that's in that video that I uh, listed that uh, I think you watch. But anyway, this is about title block. And th this is kind of germane. <clears throat> and in Home Designer 9, you're kind of limited in, in two-dimensional tools, but there are some. I'm going to go over here to uh, text tools. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is really rudimentary, but nevertheless, it'll work. I'm going to use a text line with arrow and draw a text line. And I'm going to draw another one, touching the other one. And another one. These should snap together. <coughs> That's your title block. Now, it's just four arrows basically just, you know, melded together. But, you know, it's title blocks and title blocks and title block. That's a title block. And, uh, yeah, the only CAD tools you have uh, in Home Designer 9 are the text and text with arrow. But I, we'll just work with text with arrow, well, the arrow, arrow tool. I'm going to draw an arrow here. I don't know if I can turn the arrow off and just make it into a line or not. Okay. That's the choices I have for arrows. What if I can just uncheck default? No, that didn't do anything. Uh, there's some way I can get rid of that arrow. Well, I guess I'll just put arrows on both both ends. I mean, Home Designer Nine, you can't uh, you you can't be picky, <laughs> or you can be picky, but then if you if you insist on being picky, then uh, you're just gonna have to upgrade to. Uh, software with greater abilities. That line's not straight, doesn't look straight. We don't have a parallel tool. Let's see, selected line. Ah, okay. Uh, you don't have a parallel tool in uh, Home Designer 9, but you can open this uh, dialog for this line here, go to the selected line tab, and I'll get rid of the not straight part, make it 90.0. It was just slightly off. Now it's straight. Okay. And so, sorry about that, but uh, there's an arrow. We can put uh, some text in there now. Go to rich text. Let me uh, hit the caps thing. Oops. We'll put some text there. That's too small. Make that bold. Make it, uh, let's see, how much larger? That's six. I think at least 12. Good Lord. Well, the tools in uh, Home Designer 9 are just really rudimentary compared to Pro. And uh, I, you notice I just ignored that... Uh, that, that error message that came up, I don't care what it says or what it means. I'm just uh, trying to get something done here. There we go. I just, I don't know if the, the significance of that, I kept messing with that until it showed up the way I intended. I didn't just accept what it gave me, and I didn't put my attention on error, error messages that popped up. Some of you new users, you need to kind of learn that lesson uh, and just stay concentrated on what you want to do and don't let the... Uh, 
software dictate to you. Uh, anyway, so you, you could put some text in here that says page and then some text that says, uh, I'll put, just put some more text in there. And we'll, page one, make that uh, bold and uh, 20. Okay. And so each page that you print out, you would change the number. Uh, and uh, let me undo the zoom. Oh, you don't have, yeah, undo the zoom. <clears throat> I didn't mean to lose what I was doing. Anyway, I could draw some more arrows in here and, and put uh, the address. There's the address. From my early experiences, I'm going to make this uh, like 30, 30 inches tall text. Fine. Let's just make believe that's your address of your project. <laughs> I'm just demonstrating here, okay? <clears throat> Wheel out a little bit. And uh, if you have a, a company, if you're a, a professional, you have a company logo, you, I think, well, I'm going to find out right now. I'm going to go to import, import. Yeah, okay. If you have a digital picture of your logo, of your company, you can, uh, I'll, just, I'll just import something or other here. Uh, see, where can I find an image file? I got a picture file over here. I just don't remember. I don't use XP very much. I use Windows 7 all the time. You can see only older stuff is on, is on the my XP drive. My pictures. Maybe there's something in there I can uh, import. It's just to demonstrate that you, if you have a digital image or a JPEG or something like that of your uh, <clears throat> of your uh, company logo, then you can do this. I just okay, that's that's fine. Okay, that's my logo. We'll import that. There's a huge thing. And with an image file, I've shown this in some of my other tutorial videos. Uh, if I need it smaller, I'll grab an edge handle, and uh, it'll keep it'll maintain the uh, integrity of the image and just make it smaller. And then there, see this little triangular thing? That's a rotate handle. So I'm going to put my logo over here. And a logo file. So there's the project title that I just... I'm going to take this line here and copy and paste in place and just bring that down here. I mean, Home Designer 9 is very rudimentary, but uh, that that's a title block. I, could, I suppose I could make that text. Uh, okay, fine. That's better than just some gibberish. But you get the idea. Um, now... Okay, so now when I print this, there's the title block, and uh, I could, if this is a, let's, let's create, a, create a second story. All right, we'll go here to build, floor, build new floor, derive, I'm just going to do it quickly. There's a second floor, but where's my title block's gone? Well, I'm going to press the shift key and then draw a marquee select around that stuff there and copy it. Use a copy command over here. And then go up to the second floor using the floor toggle. And then go to the edit, paste, paste hold position. Okay. You'll see what copies. All right, everything copied. I don't know what that error message was about, but it, everything didn't copy. But all the stuff I wanted to copy, page, now this would be uh, probably your page two. You, you could change that numeral there to uh, from one to two. Okay, so there's the second floor, and uh, this living area thing, if you want it turned off, just go over to plan defaults. Uh, I was going to click on this arrow here, but it doesn't work <laughs> in Home Designer 9 like everything else. I guess you would go over to uh, yeah, edit default settings. Uh, where is that plan, I guess? Well, I just don't know everything. If I don't, if I didn't want the living area to show, I, I would just either delete it or just drag it off the sheet so it's not going to print. Anyway, you could add text down here saying that this is such and such a scale, and this is a second floor, and then such and such a scale. Drag that off. Leave it on there if you wanted, and 
that's it. I mean, there, it couldn't be more straightforward. Now, this is arrows instead of instead of straight lines. Now, the the title lock worked okay, but but divider lines and so forth, you're going to have to have arrows on each end. I'm sorry, that's about it. If you want fancier stuff, you have to pay fancier money. But in any case, I, I hope this helps you and anybody else who uh, has one of the less expensive programs, and they, but they still want to print something that looks rather professional. Uh, I mean, I could be. I could be more careful with my uh, fonts and uh, uh, things like that and make this prettier, but I, I'm just trying to uh, demonstrate the basics here to get you started because you said you had no clue. Well, now you have a clue, okay? And that's it. That's the end of the tutorial. Thank you.